Um, right, we're going to be moving on to our third uh, speaker today. Manju Journal is a global art and culture platform dedicated to shining a light on contemporary talent from across the African continent. It was founded back in 2015 uh, in Accra by Orlando Mensa, who was soon joined by fashion director Kusi Kubi. Gucci recently created a campaign with Manju Journal, the fashion house's first collaboration with an African-owned media platform. It was all about exploring the Ghanaian concept of gender fluidity. Now, we're delighted to be joined today by both Orlando and Kusi. Um, it's a kind of a first for us to have two speakers in two different places. So I'm going to say hi and uh, ask you to turn your audio and video on so we can, uh, so we can say hi. Orlando, I can see you already. Okay, sure. Hi. How's it going? I mean, it's perfect. It's, 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 quite, it's quite hot over here in Accra, Ghana, but I mean, it's, it's fine. I mean, it's, it's really good. Nice. Okay, great. And Kusi, you're joining us from London, right? Yes, yes, I am. Fantastic. Okay, now if I've got this right, Orlando, you're going to be sharing your screen first, and yes. uh, and then you'll be handing on to to Kusi, right, um, to kind of right. speak second. Um, so, Orlando, over to you to uh, yeah to share your screen. Um, everyone else, if you have any questions um, for either of these guys, uh, stick them in the, in the chat as before, and we'll try and get around to them uh, afterwards. Apologies if we can't get around to all of them. I've seen a couple have come through that we haven't been able to get to, but. Um, yeah, appreciate that. Uh, that looks great, Orlando, so I'll, I'll hand over to you. Okay, um, thank you very much and good evening from um, my side. Thanks so much, Matt, for the introduction. Um, I will just be quite snappy because of time and then uh, move on with my profile. So basically, my, my name is Richmond Orlando Mesa. I'm a Ghanaian creative and um, I'm an art enthusiast in, um, based in Accra, Ghana. I, I studied Bachelor of Fine Art in, in the University of Ghana from 2013 to 2018. That, that was where I had the passion to start my platform, Manji Journal. Uh, but before starting Manji Journal, I've worked with quite a number of um, brands here in Accra, Ghana. I worked with Studio 189, um, a fashion label here in Accra, Ghana, uh, founded by Abrima Iwia and um, Rosario um, Dawson, sorry, here in Accra, Ghana as um, the communication director and also um, the art director for the brand. So, um, so in 2015, that was where I, I, I had the passion to launch my platform, Manji Journal. I believe um, by then there were quite a number of creative, um, creative works out here in Accra. I mean, we had quite a number of young emerging talents here um, in the field of photography, fashion, and um, music as well. So I, I, I I, I thought as much that why why don't I start something like that in, in here in Ghana? Because I used to see quite a number of black owned media platforms, not necessarily based in uh, in Africa, but also based in London and quite quite a number of countries as well. So I, I started Manju, I mean um, in 2015. I I I worked with quite a number of photographers. Um I, I, I had to search for, how do you call it, um, content. I, I had to speak to a number of um, uh, emerging talent here in Accra, where I got introduced to most, most of our um, partners here in Accra, Ghana. So, yeah, so basically for Manju, what we do is um, we, we, we celebrate contemporary African fashion, music, photography. So uh, we get introduced to some of our artists because sometimes I get, I get um, asked how I curate the images and stuff on the page and, and on our social or digital channels. But um, what we do is we get introduced to most of our, our partners here in, in Accra and also in Africa as well. Moving on, uh, maybe I'll just move quite quickly to some of our projects here in that we've collaborated with some media platform and also some organizations um, somewhere this year, even though we knew how COVID-19 was quite rough to uh, most, of, most of the creatives here in Ghana and also parts of the world, we we're able to um, collaborate with quite a number of media platforms in, in over here. So um, before I start, these are some of our, I, I will just run through um, some of the images in our gallery, some, some of the artists that we love, that we've worked with, that, I mean, we, we, we try to push their work out there. We could see work from, um, the first image is a work from Delphine Diallo, and uh, we could see a work from Carl Carl Wicks. Carl Wicks is a South African Namibian photographer, 
um, I think this way she, um, he, he collaborated with, with one of the fashion brands in, um, in South Africa as well. Um, yeah, we have this image also from um, Anne, Balen Anne Balenkov. Anne is, um, is a Dutch photographer, but mostly she's based here in Accra, Ghana. I've met Anne quite a number of times. Her, her, her works are mostly influenced by, uh, by human body, by how, how, we feel, um, how we feel each other um, in that sense. Yes, so um, early this year, we collaborated with ID Magazine um, to create 20 photographers that we believe capture the beauty of modern Africa um, to follow in 2020. So with this, we had to sit down, we had to, I mean, gather some points. My, my colleague, Kusi, and I had to um, go through some of the photographers that we believe. Um, I mean, their works are really inspired by the everyday beauty in Africa as well. So, um, I mean, it took quite a number of time to gather these works with, with, uh, with my colleague as well. But um, at the end of the day, we we're able to get some of our best 20 photographers that we, we believe um, capture the beauty of modern Africa to follow in 2020. So here we have um, the first image we have from um, Ismail Zaidi. Ismail is a Moroccan artist. Um, I mean, we love how he celebrates most um, the heritage and culture from, um, from Morocco as well. And um, um, then the next image is an image from a young, a young Ghanaian um, photographer, Nanaya Odro. Nanaya's work is also influenced by shapes and colors. And um, mostly some of these young artists in Ghana uh, are really influ influenced by, um, by colors through, through their works and what they do over here in Accra, Ghana as well. So I, I, I will just run through some of the images. This is an image from Sakite Tessa, also a young Ghanaian photographer here in Accra. And um, yeah. Moving on, um, we worked with uh, Vogue Italia. This was quite an interesting project with us. We had to collaborate with Vogue Italia. We had to, um, I mean, we got a proposal from um, Alessia Glaviano from Vogue Italia, and then quite a number of editors from there to also create um, 20 photographer, 20 female photographers, sorry, um, to games. I mean, in, in this era for Vogue Italia, so that was, what led us to create some of these beautiful images for Vogue Italia. I mean, we felt we felt like most, most of the female photographers here, whether emerging or established photographers need, are really putting um, I mean, the content, I mean, whether it's based in Africa or not, really putting the African aesthetics out there. I mean, they are shaping and pushing the culture over here. So we felt like it was quite important to also push, um, to push, the narrative for female photographers, mostly African photographers um, um, for Vogue Italia. So yes, we have quite a number of images here. We have this image from Nadine. Um, I think this image was part of a project with, um, her, was part of a project with her stylist, um, Jawaro, sorry if I'm not getting the name well. Yeah, for, for the uh, duo exhibition somewhere in February, I think. And, um, yeah, we have quite a number of um, photographs. The, the image on the right from Adama Jalo, also based in London. I think this was a collaboration with one media platform, um, Natal, yes. Then, um, yes, then um, this image from Ruth Osai. Ruth Osai is also a, a London-based Nigerian female photographer. Yes, we feel like, um, the main, the main narrative for, for this project was to, was to center on female photographers that we believe are really, are, are really sending, I mean, the culture or the aspects of African culture um, to, to the brothers, to the, to the brother space, whether based in Ghana or based in Africa or any part of the world. Yes, and uh, our third, project I think was with Paper Journal Magazine. Um, for Paper Journal Magazine, what they do mostly is that they invite quite a number of creatives or media platforms to, to, to share 
um, photographs that they believe are quite essential for, for the platform. I mean, creative works. Um, so it's actually a takeover for, for a week on their social media channels to talk about some creatives that you believe um, are really putting the continent on, 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 on a broader space. So for here, we created some of our images with um, some photographers in Africa and also not necessarily in Africa, but based in other um, countries as well. So um, we had to get this image from Muslim, Muslim Raba. Um, he's also a Moroccan, Moroccan artist. And uh, yeah, moving on, we have this image from we have this image from Liz Johnson Arthur. Liz Johnson Arthur is also um, a Ghanaian Russia based artist. I mean, her, I mean, she she has been one of our favorite photographers for quite a number of of for quite a number of times because we believe her images are very, very essential to what Maji Jonah does in terms of how she beautifully writes her works and she beautifully creates her works for, for her audience. We have this image also here by Daniel photographer Ufue Amegavi. Ufue Amegavi's work is quite, um, I Amegavi's mean, work is mostly influenced by the everyday Ghanaian culture and heritage over, over here. Then last but not least, um, our last project was with the Photographers Gallery, um, a London-based gallery, where we also had to create some, some images that we, we, we felt were very essential, were very important to what Manju does. So we have this image from uh, from Kojo. Kojo is also a Ghanaian artist, and um, this image from um, Oyedi Ran, also a Nigerian a Nigerian photographer. Yeah. So basically, for 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 um, for this period of time, most most of our projects were through photography. We had to create some images for mo uh, for most of these publications most of these publications. And last but not least, and the last project here we have was our recent collaboration with Gucci. Uh, I mean, I, I'm going to leave that for my colleague, but I, I will just talk a little bit about how this project all started, about uh, how everything here started about. So we actually got the, the proposal from, from a Bipotech. A Bipotech is a London-based creative agency. So that, they had to push in this um, project to us um, as a black owned media platform because they thought it was quite important for these bigger brands out there to also collaborate with black owned media because it's, it's really important when the story naturally comes from us to, to, to work with to work with these brands. So that was what led us to collaborate with Gucci for this project that we themed we are all the you um, based on our Ghanaian culture over here. So I'll just leave this to Kusi. Kusi will talk more about the Gucci project, how we started, and also um, the creative aspect of this project. Thank you. Hello, everyone. Thanks for that, Orlando. You're good, Kusi. Uh, are you going to be sharing your screen as well? Yes, yes, I'm doing that. Um, hold okay, on, let me just get this going and then... Just a reminder to everyone, if you uh, do have any questions for, for Manju Journal, that would be great. Um, yeah, pop them in the chat and uh, I'll do my best to, to get around to asking them afterwards. A bit amazing number of partnerships we've had this year already. That's fantastic. Great to see. Perfect. Great, I'll leave you to it. Sure, let me just get this a little bit bigger. Cool. Um, hi everyone, I am QC Kubi. I'm a creative director, um, fashion stylist, and also consultant. Um, recently, I joined Manju Journal as the fashion director. Before I um, dive into the Gucci Manju Journal a Vibe Code Tech project, I would like to um, show you a bit of my work. So um, I'll start with this which is um, based on a cowboy story, um, loosely based on kind of like Brokeback Mountain, but not, you know, 
um, a really um, not heavily based on that, but the theme is based around Brebeck Mountain. Um, this is a, a shoot we did for Yoho Magazine that is based in Thailand, in, in, in Hong Kong. And the, the theme was end of year photo album. So um, these kids um, in, this, in this school um, think they are the baddest and the trend in the school is for them to have cats. So at the end of the year, um, the school organizes a, a photo shoot and then the guys come out with their cats. Um, the guy on the left is a big Rick James fan, so he's really into his Rick James um, mood. And I guess the guys on the right are into Michael Jordan, I guess. Um, and then this um, is a story for King Kong Garçon, and the theme was migration. I thought it would be great to have um, the, like all of the models in the same outfit, just to kind of, you know, um, showcase unity and kind of like explain that um, we are all one, you know, with migration, we move around, but we're all the same people. And um, yeah, I really kind of like the way the models are posed. And I really like this image as well. It's one of my favorite images. Um, this is from Man About Town. And it just celebrates, um, you know, um, Asian, um, Asian men. It's, it's just about um, the theme for this was just celebrating culture. And the photographer, Jeff Han, wanted to um, who's Asian as well, wanted to kind of like celebrate his culture. So we worked together on this shoot for Man About Town. Um, so um, the, these, um, these images, the image on the right is um, based on the Trotro system, which is like a trans transportation system in Accra, Ghana. And then the image on the left is a story we shot for Heist Nobody, all in Accra, Ghana. Um, this is um, from a lookbook from a sustainable brand in Accra, Ghana called Palm Wine Ice Cream. Um, I shot this lookbook last year in Accra for the brand. Um, this is another story for um, Glamco, um, which was shot in Amsterdam. So this, um, this is for fucking young and with this story, um, I had to be the model and also the stylist at the same time because the photographer um, thought it would be great to have me um, model and also be um, the stylist. So this was like the first time I had to do anything like this, which was quite exciting. <laughs> but at the same time, I had to like check myself every you know 10 minutes to make sure the clothes were sitting properly and everything was fine. But like, yeah, so that's where this comes from. And um, this shoot is from um, an interview uh, Manju Jeno did with A.Y. Payo, who is um, an artist in Accra, Ghana. Um, he calls himself the GOAT. <laughs> so when we interviewed him we, and did the photo shoot, we thought it would be great to kind of reference the Holy Mountain, you know, um, um, Alejandro Jaroski, um, the Holy Mountain. We thought it would be nice to have him as a chief and then have the the goats as his subjects. So I'm going to um, dive into the Manju Journal Gucci Vibe Cortec project. Um, when we um, got the brief um, for the um, redesigned Gucci Jackie 1961 bag, um, the, three, the three keywords were extremely versatile, fluid approach, and genderless attitude. Based on that, we did some research and we, we gathered that Pronouns in Ghanaian dialects are genderless. So they is used for he, for they is used to describe male or female rather than he or she. So for instance, people would be like, you know, where's Kusi? And someone will reply by saying, they are coming. It's never he is coming, or someone might say, oh, where's Ajwa? And then the reply would be, they are coming. It's never he or she. So based on that, we thought, okay, that's something that's kind of like genderless fluid. So that's one key point. And then um, we also, in, in, um, in Ghanaian culture, you know, you find men walking in the streets, holding hands and, and you know, just being very easy with, with each other. And it's a very loving and free attitude. It's not in the sexual context or anything like that. It's just like men and, or just girls, just people casually holding hands and strolling down the street. And it's just like this kind of um, casual touch was also something that we thought, okay, that could also work with extremely versatile. Um, so based on that, we thought, okay, why don't we put together a mood board? So we did some research and, you know, 
gathered some images that would also um, showcase people holding bags or people like, you know, kind of like traditional images that really represent the Ghanaian culture. Um, so, you know, you have the aunties on the top, the top left, you know, looking fabulous with your bags and having your drinks. And then you have like the, um, the prime ministers at the bottom going for a conference. And you have like the two guys on the top holding hands, which also shows versatility in the Ghanaian culture. Um, so we put these mood boards together. Um, these are some more images from the mood board where you have like the athletes um, on the far left in their Kente uniform, like the Kente cloth, which is wrapped around them. And, you know, it's, it's a traditional woven fabric that is it's quite expensive and it's only, it's pretty much one of very special occasions. And then you have, you know, the auntie there up there again, um, maybe after, after her Sunday church service. Um, and then we have, um, you know, these ladies um, just like showing multiple ways of, you know, holding the bag and showing the versatility of how to wear a bag. Um, so based on all of these and all the research, there we go, actually there are more images. So yeah, some more Im images just um, showing, you know, um, just showing multiple ways and just style. And the gentleman on the far right in the double denim has got such a cool look because, you know, he's holding his bag, um, but, you know, he's, he's got his chain on and I really love this old school look. He's actually um, my friend's dad when he was like in his heydays. Um, so we moved. So based on all of that, we thought, OK, why don't we name the project We Are All Day based on the Ghanaian culture and the fluidity of um, our pronouns, we thought we'll name the project um, We Are All Day. And um, it was really great because we had to work with an all Ghanaian team for this project. So running from um, photography to direction to video, we actually have a video um, for the project which can be watched, um, which can be viewed on our social media platforms. But I think the great thing about this project is, because, is that um, we had the opportunity to create such a um, such a project um, in, in Accra, Ghana. And because of the nature of the project, it was very important that we nailed it and made sure that it was very complementary to the Ghanaian culture and it, and it also had a meaning to it. And um, based on that, I think, based on our research, I think we were able to, um, to capture this. So I'm gonna show you some BTS images. Um, so we actually shot this during lockdown. So it was kind of like, you know, wearing the mask and observing social distance rules and, you know, making sure, you know, we kind of um, keep everyone safe. Um, so that's me and Orlando um, in action right there. And then that's the photographer, um, David Ansa, who um, shot the campaign. Um, and that's our production team hard at work. Yeah, so that's pretty much the team and the models and, you know, like briefing them on what to do and everything else. And, um, and then we get on to um, Gucci, Manju, we are all day in partnership with the Vibe Code Tech. Um, so I'm going to be showing you um, the outcome from the shoot. So we start with these images, which I, which I believe are very powerful and um, really um, kind of like show versatility and fluidity um, and the genderless approach. Um, you know, um, the image on the right is, is one of my favorite, favorite images from the, from the campaign. Um, and then it runs into um, these images as well, which is like, you know, like, which also kind of like, um, it's a compliment, which kind of like compliments, you know, the whole idea of guys working, to, like the whole idea of men walking around holding hands and being just, being just very open and free and not having to, you know, care about, oh, this makes me this, so this puts me into that box. So, you know, it's just being free and just, you know, just showing pure love. Um, and um, this image kind of actually also reflects like the nature of people back home. Like this is what guys would do, sit around casually, lean on each other, chat, you know, play, play cards. Um, yeah, it's, it's, it's very fluid and very easy actually. Um, and then this image, um, we actually shot the, most of the images in Jamestown which is um, one of the oldest um, districts in Accra, Ghana. 
um, Jamestown itself has got a lot of history. So it was about us adding more history to Jamestown shooting this Gucci campaign in Jamestown. Um, the image on the, on the left, um, the guys are wearing a headdress, which is called Teku. And the Teku is usually, it, it's, the, it's one on special occasions and it's also associated with the Fanti tribe in Ghana. Um, yeah, so some more images of showing versatility um, um, of, of different ways of wearing the bag. Um, yeah. <laughs> and another thing we did since it was locked down was to photograph some prominent um, places in Accra. So the model Bridget is um, standing in front of the Black Star Square, which is like, uh, which is a symbol, which is a symbol of independence um, for Ghana's independence. So um, we thought it would be also great to have um, our models kind of like, you know, have backdrops that, you know, represented um, prominent places in, in Accra, Ghana. Um, and then here, here we have our model Quay, who is, um, standing in front of a backdrop from the Nkrumah Museum. And Kwame Nkrumah is um, Ghana's first president elected after we gained independence. So, you know, we wanted to celebrate everything that was Ghanaian for this project. Um, due to the nature of it, we thought, hey, why not? Let's just go out. Let, let's, let's just go all out. Um, and then we have, yeah, we have Mumi here um, in Gucci 420 with his bag. Um, and um, and then yeah, I think I think this is it. Um, that's me once again. Thanks for joining us. I'm Kuti from Manchu Journal, and I hope you enjoyed this presentation. Thank you. Thanks very much, Kuti. That was amazing, and thank you to Orlando um, beforehand. Uh, if you could you could stop sharing now, perfect. Um, we've just got time for one question for you guys. I don't know who wants to take it really, but. Um, Question came through, which was, how do you go about scouting the different locations? Was there a kind of a strategy, a theme behind uh, how you were approaching that? Um, those the, the um, location um, scouting. I think, I think um, um, Ghana itself is like prop heaven. You know, um, <laughs> there's, 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 it's, it, it's true. There's just so much colors, and it's, it's, it's so beautiful. So I think scouting locations wasn't wasn't like a problem. I think because it, it, it was locked down, we were actually limited to, to how many places we could shoot. And also due to the nature of the project, we, we wanted to shoot in certain prominent places and wanted to shoot in certain um, locations like Jamestown, which, which is like the old British town. And, you know, we wanted to kind of like incorporate a lot of different things with it. Um, so, um, so that's how we came about, you know, um, choosing, choosing the locations. Fantastic. Listen, I'm really sorry. We're going to have to leave it there. But thank you so much for giving us such a great Pleasure. insight Pleasure. Into, Pleasure. into that project. And uh, Orlando, yeah. I'm not sure you're still there. But if you are, thank you very much for giving us a kind of introduction as well to Manju Journal. Thank you so much, Matt. Thank you. Thank you as well.